Interstate 275. Yeah. Cincinnati style. All right, we are talking about Interstate 275 and we're asking the question, how to sign the East Loop? Amongst other things, our usual thing for I-275. So let's take a look at this road. Here we see it is a ring road around Cincinnati. It is one of very few three-digit interstates that actually pass into three states and it has exits in all three. So we'll be talking about that. You're watching Control City Freak. This is the YouTube channel where we talk about interstate highways and the places that they're signed to go to. If you dig this kind of content, why not give us a like? And if you really like it, why not subscribe yeah subscribe should give a quick mention we've got a patreon going so be sure to check that out you can request your exit on the patreon or you can do it the old-fashioned way with a five dollar super thanks and i will list upcoming videos in the description also i do want to mention for the super bowl i'm going to be doing something a little different las vegas boulevard so if you've got a favorite casino on the strip and you want to shout that out why not do that let's talk about the inner loop of 275 so we're going to start here at the intersection of I-71 and I-75 and 275 because that is the one exit one for 275 itself. And we see 275 West is signed for the airport and East is signed just to 471. 71 and 75 signed for Cincinnati. And coming on that ramp, we see West is going to be signed once again for the airport and East just to 471. And this is what it looks like coming the other way, and we get the same kind of thing. 275 West Airport, 275 East, nothing. Coming from southbound 71 and 75, same kind of deal. So just showing it to you from all angles here. And on 275 itself, when we are meeting 75 and 71, it is signed West Airport. And we saw on our last exit, we were on exit 84. Now we are on exit two because we have restarted after passing 75 and 71. And at random interchanges, 275 is signed for airport. Here's our exit for the airport. So now we're getting just 275 West with nothing else given. However, when you leave the airport and get to 275, we get 275 West to Indiana. And looking further at that airport exit, we see airport going one way, 271 and 75 going straight, Hebron and Lawrenceburg, Indiana, we get on here. So here's our exit for Hebron and we still get just West 275 with nothing on the overhead sign. At that interchange, we get Lawrenceburg and airport and 2I7175 the other direction. And now we will cross the Ohio River for the first time and certainly not the last on this route as we head into Indiana. Oh, Indiana's got a new sign. No more Benjamin Harrison stuff to make fun of. More to discover in Indiana. I don't know. I kind of like the crossroads of America. I feel like that's kind of a cooler slogan. And we also get an Indiana welcomes you right here as well. And here we've got our first exit request. This is from Green Bean. Green Bean wanted to see the exit for Highway 50, the only exit in Indiana. So I appreciate that. Thanks so much. And we see here 50 is signed for Greendale, Lawrenceburg, and Aurora. We get no pull through on 275 itself. Getting on to 275 from Highway 50, we get 275 North Ohio and 275 South Kentucky. Okay, yeah, perfect. It's our one exit Indiana, so we're definitely going to another state, regardless of which direction we go. Get a little mileage sign here, Kilby Road and I-74 coming up. And now we cross into Ohio, so we get our Ohio find it here. And only two lanes in this part of 275 because we're stretched pretty far away from town at this point. Here's where we actually cross over US 50. It's in Ohio. We see US 50 again, but we don't have another interchange for it. And now at random interchanges, we're getting 275 north to I-74 and Cincinnati. So Cincinnati, now our control city on the loop here. And we're meeting I-74, so we're getting 74 west Indianapolis and US 52 makes a nice appearance there. Good to see US 52, our old friend. And 74 and North 275, Cincinnati. After being concurrent with 74 for a short time, we're going to split. So 74 will be signed with 52 for Cincinnati. And 275 will be signed now for Dayton. And a random interchange is when we're on the concurrency, we still get Cincinnati signed because 74 is going in that direction. Here is our actual split. And I do appreciate that Ohio puts US 52 up on the signs there. We get a nice pull through here. Now we're getting East 275 to I-75 Dayton. We're meeting US 27. That'll take you all the way down to almost Disney World. It is still East 275 and to I-75 for Dayton. <laughs> Check this out. This place sucks. <laughs> No way! This place is awesome! Awesome! 
And now we've got exit 41 for Fairfield and Springdale. And this exit was requested by BevGeek because it is the exit for Jungle Gym's International Market. And here's a look at Jungle Gym's International Market. Looks like an awesome place. I love places like this. If I ever go back to Cincinnati, I will definitely hit this up. I've lived in five different countries and six different states and been to a whole lot more. So I love these sorts of joints. We're meeting I-75 now. We're getting 75 at North Dayton, one half mile, 75 South Cincinnati. And on I-75, it is 275 is signed for 2 I-74 and 2 I-71, depending on which way you're going. And then either Indianapolis or Columbus, depending on if you're taking 74 or 71. So we're getting on East 275, that's the inner loop we're continuing to follow, and it's signed 2 I-71 Columbus. And at random interchanges, it is the same kind of deal, East 275, 2 I-71 Columbus. And here is US-42. I'm not sure if I really know much about US-42, and it is signed for Mason and Sharonville. Now we're meeting I-71, I-71 for Cincinnati, of course, and North for Columbus. And on I-71, we get East 275 to Ohio 32. So eh, that's not quite as high a level as doing the two, the interstates that we had before. Although it is tough to figure out what to sign on this side of the loop, and we will talk more about that. And here we're meeting US-22. US-22, I think, will take you to Pittsburgh if you continue on it. Now we're going to be meeting US-50 again shortly. We're getting 275 south to Highway 32 for Kentucky. And exit 57 is Ohio Highway 28. This exit was requested by JB Natty 27 who wanted to see this exit. So I appreciate that so much. Thank you. And here is where we meet Ohio Highway 32 that we were signed for before. And none of these are particularly big places. And we're now we're getting south 275 to US 52 Kentucky. So 52 is our next two line. And this exit was requested by AJ Forquer. He wanted to see Highway 125 Beachmont Avenue because this is his exit for work. So thank you so much for that request. I really appreciate that. And this is where we switch from going south to west. This is our first west pull through. We're getting west 275 to US 52 Kentucky. And we've been a three lane road. We are about to merge down to two lanes here. And here we meet US 52 once again, the great US 52 east for New Richmond and West Kellogg Avenue going into the city of Cincinnati. And right now we actually enter Cincinnati. I believe this is the only part of 275 that heads into Cincinnati itself. And then right after entering Cincinnati, we get our exit for West 52. And this was requested by JB Natty 27, who wanted to see the only part of 275 in Cincinnati proper. Thank you very much for that request. We are still 275 and now 2471 Kentucky. So they seem to put the to the next major highway on almost all of these pull through signs. So that's helpful. And we are crossing the Ohio River once again. Welcome to Kentucky, heading into Kentucky now. We're meeting US 27 once again and 471 North for Newport and Cincinnati, West 275 with no control city whatsoever. And on US 27, we get 275 West to I-71 and I-75 and the airport. So we've looped back around to where we're getting airport signage again. And at other random interchanges, it is the same kind of thing. 271, 275, airport. And here is another exit request of Lon B9851, and I appreciate that. And it was also requested by JB Natty27, so thank you for that as well. These commenters want to see the skyline from the Licking River Bridge. So here is a look at that. It's really the only place where you can see the Cincinnati skyline from this loop. I really do appreciate that kind of shout out. This adds to this video. I think that's a great shot here. And we're meeting US 25, 42, and 127, all the Dixie Highway, which I have learned after the Canada episode that there is a branch that goes up to Ohio. I thought the Chicago to Miami road was the only road, but they had other branches going to Ohio and Michigan as well. And now we are getting back to our big interchange with I-75 and I-71. All right, let's take a look at the outer loop of 275. Just a quick look. So now we're on 275 East, and it is signed for nothing. We get our exit for 71 and 75. 275 East, nothing, but I'm not really sure what you would sign it for. You wouldn't sign it for Cincinnati because 7175 are going to there. Signing it for Ohio seems a little redundant. There's not really any big suburbs on that side of town or on any of the highways heading east from the eastern loop. At random interchanges, we are signed for to Kentucky 17. 
as our control city. So that's not really much. We're meeting 471 again, Newport and Cincinnati, and East 275 with no control city. But again, that is quite difficult to figure out what exactly it should be here. Once we get to US 52, it is now East Columbus. So before this, signing it for Columbus, meaning signing it for northbound I-71, wouldn't make sense because there would have been faster ways to get to northern I-71 from other points. But from this point, we're now somewhere where it is faster to get to I-71 by going straight. And here is where we meet I-71, and 275 is just signed West. I wonder why they're not doing the Dayton to I-75 thing here. On I-71 itself, 275 West is signed for 2 I-75, but on the overhead, it was not. And at random interchanges, we even get Dayton on there along with 2 I-75, so that's pretty good. And here we're meeting I-75, and we're getting a full-on pull-through for Indianapolis now, and that totally makes sense given the directional nature of the I-74 concurrency. So now we're meeting I-74 east for Cincinnati, and we're going to be on west 74, 52, and 275 for Indianapolis. Although we aren't going to Indy. Once we split with Indianapolis, we are now signed for 275 south for Kentucky, which does make sense there. Signing at 275 south Indiana doesn't quite work because obviously Indianapolis is in Indiana. So if you're going straight, that is also Indiana. And here we are back in Indiana. I don't know if they haven't changed this sign yet or if this is just an older street view. I'm not sure. We are getting good old Benjamin Harrison. Yay. Here's another look at the US 50 interchange in Indiana, where we are getting 275 North Ohio and 275 South for Kentucky. The random interchanges, once we're on the Kentucky side, we are getting airport and two I-71 and 75. And here we are at exit four to Kentucky 20 and airport. So that's our airport exit. We're not getting any kind of pull through, although I imagine it would be two I-71 and 275 if we did. And here's a full look at the airport interchange. I only showed you part of it before. So 275 West to Indiana, left lane, 275 East, 271 and 75, Cincinnati, Lexington, and Louisville by going right. That's all well done. You definitely want Cincinnati sign coming out of the Cincinnati airport. And now we are back at the 75 and 71 interchange. So we are once again signed 275 East with no control city and we've done that loop so let's talk about Todd's the way it should be I'm going to say the way it should be for the inner loop I would say it should be signed like it is for airport then Indiana I would go with Harrison after that in Indiana itself because that is the bigger suburb that you get in Ohio before I-74 then Cincinnati then Dayton Columbus like they do after Columbus I don't know eastern suburbs because there's no dominant suburb over on the eastern side and there's also no particularly large city that any of the roads that we're meeting on the eastern side of the loop go to. Eastern suburbs might be the best answer or maybe this is one of the rare cases where not having anything at all is the way to go. Kentucky, once we get far along enough into those eastern suburbs, and then finally Louisville and Lexington. For the outer loop, again, I'd start with eastern burbs. It's it's really tough to figure out what exactly should be there. If you want to have anything signed, that'd probably be the best thing to have signed. Then Columbus, like they do, then Dayton, Indianapolis, Lawrenceburg, and then finally Cincinnati. All right, thank you so much for watching this episode of Control City Freak. This has been great talking about 275 i hope that the chiefs can show up inside this beltway and do all right i'm really worried about this game actually i think that's an arrowhead yeah either way very worried about this game thank you so much for watching this episode we will be back next week with i8 and until next time my name is todd and keep on trucking